Hello folks, in continuation of the KMS webinar series, today we are going to see how you can rotate your KMS keys. The rotation might be because of a requirement from your audit, a security auditor or might be some compliance reasons saying the regulator saying you need to change the keys after X number of period or you can only use the key for certain uh, information only. So here is a simple use case. Let us say there is a requirement to change the keys every month. So let us say every Jan month you have a key which is named as alias as Jan and you encrypt some amount of data and when the new uh, month happens that is February then you go ahead and create another alias with, which is pointing to another key or you just create a fresh new key and then start encrypting your data. So let us go ahead and see how you can do that uh, through the GUI which is an automatic uh, mechanism and then if you want to do it manually then how do you do that. Remember when you do the auto mode in AWS uh, the uh, frequency that you get is that is one year. So you can change your key every single year 365 days if you have a more aggressive requirement saying I want to do it um, every month or every quarter then you have to do it manually. So that's what we are going to see. So when you go to the KMS console, let us say this is your key that, that uh, you want to rotate or you want to enable auto rotation, go to the key here and then you will have a section called as a key rotation at this moment. So if you click on it, you will get an option saying automatically rotate this CMK every year. So all you have to do is just go ahead and check this box and click on save, then you would have enabled a key rotation simple and easy remember this happens every single year so if you want to have a frequency which is a more aggressive or shorter period then you have to do it manually so when you want to do it manually what you basically need to do is you need to create another uh, client master key that is uh, let us say this is your current uh, master key then you have to use another master key uh, like this go ahead and create it and point your alias to this master key so that you're up, you don't have to change your application code now because your application will be referencing to the same alias but that alias will be pointing to another master key so that is how you do it so let us say you have a current list of aliases let's say this is your key id and then you have it pointed to my data key demo then what you do is you create a new master key and point it to my shiny encryption key so let us go ahead and demonstrate how to do that now so this is my key ID for this key. This is the alias that we are going to rotate now. And let us copy this key ID. So we will list all the aliases. And you can see here currently my alias is uh, this one and it is pointing to this key ID. So what we are going to do now is we are going to create a new key. So now we have created a key. And what we are going to do is we are going to point this alias to this key ID now. So the command is something like update your alias and we are going to say alias name and pointing to the target key ID as a new one. And if I go ahead and list KMS and you see here now my data key demo alias is going to point to my new key ID. So any application which is using this alias now will be encrypting data with this new key. So we have technically rotated the key which is underlying this alias. So this is how the manual rotation works. So choose the mechanism whichever is convenient for you in your application or in your environment or your regulatory requirements. If you are having any trouble, put them in the comment section. I will try and help them with you. There is a big community in our channel. So any of us should go ahead and help each other and learn from each other. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.